Almost made it. Hola, friends, amigos, subscribers, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, everybody, you clickers, the clickers of this video. I brought the clickers back, and I'm tuning up my Spanish. I think it's Spanish. I'm tuning up, I don't know, my languages. Welcome on in to Faithfully Bearded. Today is Monday. It's a new week. And with that, we're kicking off the new week with a new company that I have zero experience with. They asked me if I'd like to do a review for them. I said, you know I would like to do a review for you. So I'm going to show you what they sent me. I'm going to unbox it, give you my first impression, and let you know what the initial FRS rating is. Then we're going to wear it all week long. We're going to come back on Friday, do a review, and give them a final FRS score for the week. And then, of course, we all go to faithfullybearded.com. We upload the link to their website. We give you a discount, most likely, and we let you know what their final FRS score is. So anytime you want to know where I rank companies out at, you can just go to faithfullybearded.com and check on the FRS rankings, see who I have ranked at the top. Also, we have the Beardies going on. And today is your last day to vote for your nominees of the Beardies. So make sure you head on over to faithfullybearded.com if you haven't and vote on the Beardies. And then I'm going to add them all up. I'm going to give you the finalists and we're going to reopen the voting. We're going to get some trophies made and we're going to hand them out to all of these companies. So join me on this ride this week. We're going to kick it off right now. So I got this cool box. This is a pretty cool box, right? Cool box here. Pretty cool brown box with some tape on it. And the company that we're doing this week is Caballeros. And I think I said that right. Comment below if you know Spanish and I said that right. Because I believe I did. So we're going to kick this week off with this box. I'm going to get my trusty knife right here. And I'm going to open it up. As you guys saw before the intro. I am not that good at basketball. I almost made the crumpled paper in the Faithfully Bearded Mug, but I didn't. So we just move on to things that I am good at. Cutting open packages of beard mail. Maybe I'm not the best at that if you've seen any of my other videos. If you haven't, now's a good time to go back and look at all the first looks and see how much I struggle with opening boxes. Maybe I should just make a highlight reel of how much I struggle opening boxes. All right, so we got this first, we got the box open, right? And we pull out some uh, Aubrey chores. I call them Aubrey chores, I throw them on the ground, my daughter cleans them up. We have, what? Look at this. We got a hat. We got a hat. So let's just get this hat fitted right up to my head size. We'll put it on and y'all can give me a little whistle at how good I look with the hat. Give me all a whistle for that. Whistle up in here. We got more Aubrey chores, more Aubrey chores, and more Aubrey chores. Lots of Aubrey chores, which is cool. We have a note. We have a note right here. We have a note uh, from Mac. I don't know what it says. We'll read it later. And then we have a cool sticker. Caballeros. Caballeros. Is that... The L's... Two L's make a Y, right? Caballeros? Caballeros. I think I'm getting better. I don't really know. But we have here, we have one, two, three, four beard oils, it looks like. We have one, two, three square tins of beard balm. And I'll give you guys a closer look here. I just want to get this big brown box out of my lap and get ready to show you guys what we all have here. So let's take a look. Let's see. Let's just start with the green one, all right? So it's called Ozarks. Take a look at that label right here, Ozarks. So it says Caballeros Beard Oil. It says Ozarks on it. It's got a, a non-waterproof label, it looks like, just kind of printed on there. Let's see what else. You got caballerosupply.co for their website. You got jojoba, grapeseed, sweet almond, vitamin E, pine essential oil, cedarwood essential oil, sandalwood essential oil, eucalyptus essential oil, and they're out of South Carolina. So let's get this little perforated seal off of here. We gave it a shake -a -roo. get the sniffer all ready, and let's just give this a sniff. 
It's going to be a wood scent, I would assume. Okay, so that's a, like a piney. It's pine. There's pine. It's not very strong. It's not very strong, but that's a, essential oils. Let me do something out here. Let me just get some of this in my hand. I'll put a couple drops in my hand and just do this. I've, I've noticed a lot lately my sniffer just doesn't like stuff out of the bottle as much as it does warmed up. Okay, now that scent comes out a little bit more. I think we're we're getting to notice that we got to warm them up in our hands a little bit, get those oils mingling together in my fingers to really give you a good idea what it smells like, in my humble opinion. The next one we have is Southern Honey. Southern Honey. Like, what up, girl? What up, Southern Honey? Or is this the honey? This is like Southern Honey from a beehive. This is Honey from a beehive. That's what we got. I was going to say, Southern Honey, I don't know what they smell like. I'm from the Midwest. I don't know what the Southern Honey smell like. Here we go. Here we go. Let's smell this out here. Not as sweet as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little bit sweeter. So let's go like this. So get some in the hand, warm it up. First impressions, first impressions, I'm going to start a fire. Okay, that's pretty good. That's like a, it's not a sweet honey. It's not sweet. It's pretty um, tart, I guess you could say. I wouldn't even say tart, but it's not sweet. And it's got honeysuckle and blackberry. Honeysuckle and blackberry. I didn't get a ton of the blackberry, but maybe the honey and the blackberry mix really well together. I don't know. I'll have to get it in beard to really give you more more. Uh, in depth, which is why we review on Friday. This is just so you can see what they, how they ship you things because experience is like the biggest thing in my book. So we're going on to Dream Sickle. Dream Sickle Delight. Oh, wait, that's not how it goes, is it? I don't know. Comment below if that's how it goes or if you just, I, you know what, really what I want to see is like, if I make you laugh, comment below and tell me that I make you laugh because yeah, man, this stuff just rolls off the tongue. It's, it's, it's almost like I scripted out, but I don't. None of this is scripted, except for Friday's reviews. Those are scripted. All right, this is a creamsicle. This is a creamsicle. They nailed the creamsicle delight. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get it in here. It's like an orange creamsicle. Orange. I got orange. Ooh, that is a good orange scent. That's like you squeeze the orange into a cup, into the cup, you smell it, pure orange juice right there, and then I would assume maybe some vanilla. Yeah, vanilla essential oils to kind of calm that down a little bit. And then we have a like brand new one or something right here. A little bit different of a label design, and it's handwritten on there that says Key Lime Pie. Key Lime Pie. I'm pretty sure this was like a special edition or something. But, I mean, who doesn't like Key Lime Pie? Key Lime Pie is to die for Woo! that is some lime that is some lime right there oh my goodness i gotta get this in the hand i gotta get this in the hand this is awesome like i haven't really smelled anything like this before it's like it's almost like a margarita but not with that like like a virgin margarita that has no alcohol or something in it it just gives me that really nice lime scent. Um, and there's something else with it, too. Let's see what it says on here. It does not. There's something else with it, too, that I'm just not quite picking out right now. Uh, but it is super good. Like, that is a nice lime. I'm interested to see how long um, that's going to last. And then we have something right here that's a little bit different. You haven't really seen before. You have square balms. So it looks like shea butter, beeswax, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E oil, orange, and vanilla essential oils. And I'm trying to find where this childproof stuff comes off at. I found it. There's a little perforation there. So I'm going to wipe some of this off. It looks like a little bit might have leaked in the heat. Yeah, you're saying it's, it's October. There's no heat. But I, I probably had this since August, to be honest with you. Um, so I, I would assume it melted a little bit, just a little bit leaked out, nothing too major. So we're going to pop this top. Pop the top! We're going to pop the top. I'm going to give it a sniff. I'm going to give it a, a rubber roux here. Show you guys what it looks like. It's probably, it seems like about a medium. Comes out halfway decent. So you got this square, uh, the square container. 
Now I have the label right. I nailed it this time. I didn't get it the first time. You guys probably are like, dude, the, the label's crooked. Y'all over there yelling at your, your computer or your phone screen. You're like, turn the bomb around. It's crooked. Well, I didn't realize it right away. Give me a break. But I nailed it that second time. All right, so I have some bomb right here on my finger. And we're just going to put this in my hand. We're going to give it a couple swirls around. Oh, okay. That uh, melts down really nice. It's got a good scent to it. You smell a little bit of the beeswax, but not much. Other than that, it smells just like the oil. Once I'm, I'm interested to see the hold on it because once I melted it down a little bit, it seemed more buttery and l liquidy, I guess, than like a hard holding balm where they're still a little tacky. There wasn't really any tack to it. Um, pulling it out of the tin, it seemed like it was going to be a medium to hard hold. So I'm interested. I'll get it up in the beard. I'll see how it goes. I also have the uh, Southern Honey uh, balm that I can put in my beard as well and I don't have to show you guys all of them I don't need, know that you need to see all of them you know like they're gonna be the same they're a balm and then we have the Ozarks so I have uh, four oils three balms I got the key lime pie which will probably pair up just fine with dreamsicle right I think it'd pair up fine comment below if you'd pair up dreamsicle with key lime pie I think I would I think I would so I got the hat I got these square tin bombs that just look different. Man, they're probably going to stack up different, too. They're probably going to stack a lot better. I can set them on their side with the picture facing forward on the beard shelf. Oh, that's awesome. And then we have these oils from Caballeros, Caballeros Supply. And I'm excited to talk to them. I got a phone call with them uh, tomorrow night. So I'm going to talk with them. We'll get back to you uh, guys on how all this stuff felt. But I think it looks pretty good, and I'm excited to dig in. So give me a comment below which scent of these would be your favorite, and make sure that uh, if I made you laugh, you give this a thumbs up. If I didn't make you laugh, just still give it a thumbs up. If you give it a thumbs down, I guess that's fine. Like, just do whatever your heart desires. Just click one of the buttons. And then go ahead and smash that subscribe button like it's 2018, so I think that was the terminology then was smashing the like button. Now we just talk about clicking it or hitting it or, you know, I don't know. Just make sure you're subscribed. Double check that you're subscribed. And until I talk to you guys, whoa, you're saying, whoa, 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 where is the FRS rating? So based on the ingredients, the design, the hat, what I'm seeing, what I'm smelling, we'll give Caballeros, Caballeros, a initial FRS rating at 7.9. So I'll dig in. I'll wear these products. I'll come back to you with it all planned out, equaled out, and we'll have an FRS score for you by Friday. And you can come back and check out the review then. So make sure you leave a comment below. The comment that gets the most likes from everybody else will be in the run running to win something on the live stream Sunday night. That's how we're going to start doing some of these. We're going to get you guys participating down below to win comments, to win product. There was nothing that rhymed with below, so I'm just going to end this with hello. Until I talk to you guys again soon, grab this coffee. Now I'm kind of glad I didn't make the paper in it because it's got coffee in it. Grab your bang, stroke your caballeros man mane. Come back and watch the next series the next week in the series on wednesday the review on friday and god bless you all